at 6. This is National Rare Disease Day, and new at 6, LaVille Elementary School dedicated the day to one of its own. WSBT 22's DJ Manu is here, and DJ, all month the school's sign has read hashtag Mason Brave. Mason Kev is a 7-year-old battling an extremely rare disease. Although he can't go to school, he made a special trip today where every teacher and his classmates wore this shirt. This is Buddy Mason's fight with Masto. A big surprise for Mason. His classmates excited to see him. They brought a lot of chills. They made my heart smile. It really did. Mason is currently battling mastocytosis. Children normally face a weaker form, but Mason's case rapidly progressed and is normally only found in adults. And only 1% of all children are affected with systematic mastocytosis. Looking at his neck, you can see he's covered in lesions. His mother says the disease is caused by mast cells growing out of control, spreading the lesions to his liver, intestines, and bone marrow. Mason's body is in constant allergic reaction mode. It's a disease with no cure and a life expectancy of just three years. So we've just learned to be grateful for every day and um, live, make Mason's life happy. Too sick to go to school, but today he had the chance to read and learn with his classmates. Each year, LaVille students and staff participate in some random act of kindness. This year, um, easy choice. One of our own who is diagnosed with a, a rare disease. Principal Ken Shirley says it's about raising awareness for his disease, but also joining him in the fight. I just want Mason to hopefully realize that he has our whole school, our whole staff, the community behind him. We're here for him. It makes us just feel good that you know, they're out, you know, that they are supporting us and praying for Mason. Mason has to watch what he eats, can't be exposed to extreme temperatures or be as active. But his mom says he never complains, even when she says she would trade places with him. His reply was, no, mommy, because then you'll be sick and I don't want you to be sick. So that's just how he is. Kev hopes this can bring awareness to try and find a cure or a treatment to help with quality of life. Next month, they will be meeting a doctor in Dayton who can hopefully find him a medication that helps. Live in the studio, DJ Manu, WSBT 